Anonymous watch guy here with an unboxing and overview video. Quick wrist check. We're in the Far and Swift Seaplane Automatic. I unboxed the channel a couple days ago. Really liking that watch. And today I have a watch from Borealis. This watch is currently available for pre-order on the Borealis website. Uh, it comes in this nice leather uh, travel pouch with the Borealis logo. Of course, we are talking about the Borealis Sea Storm MK2 GMT. Again, this watch is available for pre-order. Uh, it's shipping in March. Uh, this watch belongs to Random Rob. I'm a member of his private Discord. This watch is out on tour in his Discord group. So it is on a Tropic Rubber Zodiac strap right now. The watch won't come on that. It'll come on a bracelet. Uh, but let's take a look at the watch. It is a 41 and a half millimeter watch. It's 48 and a half millimeters lug tip to lug tip. You do have a 20 millimeter lug opening. It is just over 14 millimeters thick, so it is a little bit of a chunky fellow. You do have a screw down crown there at the three o'clock position that is signed with the Borealis logo, the B there. And that gives you 300 meters water resistance. Uh, so it is a little bit chunky, but you've got some really serious water resistance on this one. You've got a domed sapphire crystal with anti-reflective treatment. Really nice crystal on this. You can see that kind of blue tint right there, giving you that anti-reflective treatment there, uh, giving you a good shot of the dial. This is running the Seiko NH34 GMT movement. So this is one of those micro brands that's taking advantage of that new Seiko NH34 movement. Really excited when that movement came out to see what some micro brands were gonna do. Uh, and this watch is utilizing that movement. You also have a sapphire bezel insert uh, that is loomed. Really nice loom on this watch. This is all BGW9 Super Luminova. Uh, nice loom on the hands and indices and also in this bezel. Really like the look of this bezel. You get kind of a domed uh, look on that bezel as well like the colors like the black and green contrast got a kind of a sunray black dial you can see the sunray on that dial there uh, really like the the finish on the dial got your stark white printing so you get nice legibility and contrast got a printed on white minute track around the side there uh, your numerals 12 3 6 and 9 and then just indices at the other markers all loomed kind of a baton or stick style handset uh, and then you've got your green gmt hand uh, there as well for some nice contrast date at the 430 position down there so you do have a date on this one uh, i'm more of a no date guy but uh, don't mind a date uh, doesn't really get on my nerves too bad but like the looks of the dial, like that sunray black uh, on this one, I think it works well. Again, nice legibility. Really like the colors with the green in the bezel and the green in your GMT hand. Uh, nice pop of color on this one. Uh, it is all 316L stainless steel. Got some nice brushed finishing uh, on the sides of the case. You got a polished bevel and then more brushing on the tops of the case. Pretty nicely finished watch overall. Definitely like the look of the watch. You've got some nice grip on the bezel. 120 click unidirectional bezel. A smidge of back play. Not the world's greatest bezel action, but it is not terrible and it does line up uh, as well. Uh, like the look of the bezel, but the operation of the bezel isn't quite as nice as some. Uh, but your price point on this one is $500. US uh, so you've got a uh, some value for money there, I think, uh, with some nice specs as far as your water resistance, your sapphire crystal, and a reflective treatment, and some other things that uh, Seiko does not give you uh, for the same price point. And a nicely finished watch, I think, as well. You've got drilled lugs 
uh, to make strap changes easier. Again, this is not the strap that will come with the watch, so we're not gonna pay too much attention to it. Your case back, you do have a screwed in case back with your Borealis Mermaid there on the back. They are known for the Mermaid. And then you've got some specs around the back again, your 300 meters water resistance, uh, Sea Storm 2, and your NH34 movement. Uh, but a nice looking watch. Again, like the colors, like the overall look of the watch. Uh, I think it's nicely finished for the price point. Uh, so let's check out the loom and I'll show you what it looks like also on my seven and a half inch wrist. Here you can see the loom on the watch. Again, the loom on this watch is really good. You've got that BGW9 Super Luminova, so you've got a nice kind of blue glow. Really nice loom application on all the indices, your hands, your second hand, your GMT hand down there. And you've got that loomed sapphire bezel insert. Really nice job by Borealis on the loom on this watch. Definitely a really, really kind of a loom monster, if you will. Great loom on this watch, especially for the price point. Here is the watch on my seven and a half inch wrist. You can see it works very nicely. Sub 50 millimeters, lug tip to lug tip, curved down lugs, so plenty of space on my wrist. If you've got a little bit smaller wrist, it will work for you as well. Again, it is a little bit chunky at just over 14 millimeters thick, uh, but it wears very nicely. Again, this is also not the strap that will come with it, but I would probably put it on a nice Tropic strap if I were to buy the watch. I think it wears really well on this Tropic strap. Uh, but a very nice looking watch, nice wrist presence, really good loom. Uh, definitely come away impressed with this watch. I think there's some definite value there at the 500 US dollar price point. The Borealis Sea Storm MK2 GMT. Uh, I will leave a link to the Borealis website in the video description. If you like the video, give me a like, maybe subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.